Hey everybody, this is Tambio and I'm back with another Transformers video review. This time I have Combiner Wars Devastator. This is the third video in uh, in his line, which is going to be for Scavenger. So let's go ahead and bring the camera down so I can check this guy out. He has a little bit of paint apps right here. He has some red. Uh, you know how I said before, you mainly get the purple and black. Uh, so you do get a little bit of red in here, so you got some red right there, and that's um, all right. So you do have uh, um, the treads right here. I wish that these would have been painted black, uh, the the outside part of the treads, but they didn't do that. Uh, it does roll fairly well. Um, the rolling mechanism, you have two wheels on each of the treads, and then you have this one long wheel right here on... Um, part of the arm mechanism and then you have your uh, your bucket right here which basically all you can do is you have a pivot right here in here um, and then you have a pivot to turn it for some reason then you have a pivot here and that's it you don't have a pivot at the bucket so uh, if you wanted to you can actually put some of of the um, the added parts on him like you can actually take this I know it's not supposed to go to him but you can actually take this and you can see there's a hole right there and then there's these little posts you can actually tag it tap it onto him like that and you have that um, that's about it that's I think that's all you can really do with this guy um, there's no other place to tab any anything else. There's a small little hole right there, uh, but I don't think there's anything that small to tab into there. So I don't really know what that's for. And then there's no holes anywhere else on this guy. So all right, so I guess we'll go ahead and get into transformation here, since there's nothing else left. Um, where do I start? I'll just put them like that and then you want to come down here and you see how there's a tab right here that goes into there so you want to untab that oh that already came undone uh, you untab that and then it also tabs in right here in where the connector is so you can see you untab that and then you kind of come down here but not really um, because we want to kind of mess with around with uh, with the stuff that's up here, so you take this and you flip this forward, and you flip this then back, and you do that with this side also, and then you flip the arms up. Oops, it's a ball joint, so that happens sometimes. Um, and you have the elbows, which are fine, and then you come down here. You have their fists. So now down here to the waist, um, you have a couple of things in here. So you got to break this apart right here, and then you want to take the legs and fold them like this, and those will tab into place, and then you fold it up right here. And it'll tab into place. And then what you do is you then extend the tread right here. Okay. I thought it locked when it made a yeah. I think it, no, it doesn't make a locking noise. And then you take the feet, this part right here, pop these apart. There's that. Okay, and then raise the camera up and then to reveal the head you just pop this panel down flip up the head and there you go so you got your whole robot right here and you know this is one of my more favorite ones uh, he actually looks okay in robot mode and he looks okay in his excavator mode so 
he doesn't look bad in both modes. Uh, he has proper elbows, he has proper legs, he looks good. Um, the only issue that I have is maybe his head is a little forward, and that's about it. So, um, and then he also has one extra color in here, so he actually has a gold orange color to uh, kind of match his G1. Uh, I did like how they how they put this design in here to kind of match his original G1 uh, concept because this right here would actually fold out and this would create the uh, the connector point for uh, for him as an arm that would connect into hook um, that was the top part of the body section so so they did add that in there as a reference to to the original but um, for articulation with this guy you come here to the head the head is on a ball joint. So you got up, down, left, and right. Then you come here to the shoulders. Shoulders are on a ball joint, so forward, back, out to the side. The elbow is on a ball joint, so forward. Uh, you can twist it right here. Then you have your hand. Um, there's no there's no jointage in there, so you can't twist that. It's mainly just the transformation to bend it down. Then you come here. There's no waist articulation. You come to the hips, and that's a ball joint. So forward, back, a cut allows you to go out to the side then you come down here you have a twist right here at the knee I oh, know actually it's a ball joint so that's all in the ball to do that um, and then if you want to because of transformation you can lower the heel a little bit and do the toe portion so. I guess I'll go ahead and do it for scavenger uh, don't forget to check out all my other videos Subscribe, follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambiota, and I'll see you guys next time.